Okay. So, I had to get my tires changed the other day, because my back were losing too much air, so that had to be done. Now I have less money. Fun. Yeah, it's fun. This is what I get for driving through the Valley of Glass. I thought it would be a neat shortcut. It looks kind of shiny when you see all those glass shards gliding in the air. There. You have no one to blame but yourself, Rumpy. Uh, also, we're live. Come on, it was a pretty sight, right, Sophie? You got glass in my eye, you asshole! Well, you should have rolled the windows up. You know, I, I hate to defend his poor actions, but honestly, Sophie, he does have he does kind of have a point there. I was blind for a week, you dick! Yeah, but you really should have, like... To be fair, Rumpy also could have rolled the windows out. Hey, hey, what are you dragging me into this for? You're the one driving the car. So... Anyway, um... We were talking about, like, Warner Brothers and their poor you decisions. You're not going to send me to some remote Russian satellite, are you? Um, ah, yes. What are they ruining this week? Uh, everything. It goes nothing. I got to be a little more specific. Um... I mean, if it's, is it DC? Is Access it a beloved present. television what series? If it's Looney okay? Tunes, I'm currently working yes, on that right. part. But I'm going to need a lot transfer. of... A lot of uh, I'm just outside bodies. The or that one. There is no way past this thing. We'll leave it I'll at find that. a way. I, I am a little upset. Um, I can't take down. the I I the day the Earth blew skills. up movie that we are Don't worry, that It'll be a piece of cake. Um, Access a lot of terminated. people were hoping wasn't canceled. Um, it's still not canceled. Like we are still getting it. We just it's been delayed to next year. Um, at the very least, we are still getting it. Like, they haven't fully canceled it yet. Um, I, you know, I am actually surprised, um, and I'm more bringing this up because Warner Brothers owns the property, or owns the rights to the, to the series. Uh, we're getting a Lord of the Rings, like an animated Lord of the Rings movie at the end of this year. Yeah, I heard about that. It looks good. But it's it's a movie that I'm looking at and thinking, really? Not only are we getting a new Lord of the Rings movie, it's going to be animated. Which, um... Rumpy, have you ever seen the original animated Lord of the Rings movie? I have not yet. That's good. I believe you. It's 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 done by Ralph Bakshi. The Ralph Bakshi. The guy who made hit films like Fritz the Cat. I will be honest, I have seen Fritz the Cat. Uh he, he made hit films like Fritz the Cat, Wizards, and a third movie which I do not want to repeat the which I don't want to repeat the name of because it has a racial slur in it. Uh, that third movie is supposed to be, uh, from what I heard, is it is supposed to be good. It's just I don't want to repeat the name of the movie because, uh, because it has a racial slur. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know that one. I know, uh... I mean, I know about Cobra. For the, um... For the people curious, I will have, like, the poster for the movie in uh in the video so that you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna share it with Rumpy. I I just don't feel comfortable I don't feel comfortable saying the name. Hang on. Can you tell me how to access a modulator socket? Currently it's not possible. Local data stream functionality is down. When do you expect the data streams to be back online? Oh, hey. The bit is missing to it's... get into the control room. Otherwise, I would miss the data streams. <laughs> Damn it, <a> Rumpy! <laughs> um... What? What? They said on South Park all the time. Why can't I?
anyway. But yeah, no, it's supposed to be it, it's supposed to be pretty good movie. I I still need to see Fritz the Cat. Oh, I can hook you up with that sometime. Yeah, I, I've seen uh, I did see Wizards. I liked Wizards. It was a good movie. I have never seen Wizards. I have played the game. You have what? Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of Joust. Never mind. Have you seen a data rate? <laughs> um, sorry, sorry, that picture reminds me a lot of Joust. What? The... The... the po poster. Yeah, the, the poster room was. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> um... Wizards is Wizards is such a weird movie. Activating security I I loved it. It's a great movie, but it's also like, man, this this movie's fucked weird. <laughs> also, uh, the main character in the main villain in Wizards uses fucking Nazi propaganda to to uh, kind of. He uses Nazi propaganda as a way to give his own troops morale. It's like, oh. There's like... If he's, if there was supposed to be a allegory, like, they, they're being pretty fucking obvious here. <laughs> if it's not supposed to be an allegory, they're still being pretty fucking obvious here. But, but no, it was, it was good to Ralph Ralph Bakshi in general is just kind of an interesting filmmaker. He's a weirdo, but I love him. Oh yeah, a lot a lot of his movies are just kind of uh, kind of have that feel of what the hell am I watching, and and not as a bad like saying that as a bad thing, but just more of a this is fucking weird. Just more of a man. What was in those brownies sort of thing? Yeah, and I need to I, I just need to see a lot more of his movies. That was my brownie. No, Safi. I want the brownie. No, Safi. Well, can you make me look? Safi, there's no brownies. Go away. Man, that just reminds me. So I um I have been rewatching an old. 70s series with my dad called Barney Miller, um, which I recommend. Uh, the only downside is it's not easy to find on like anything. Is it not even Tubi. Uh, it might it might be on Tubi. I don't know. For me, well, for me, the last I checked when I was trying to find the series, it's one of those series where you have like. Two or three seasons on one streaming service, and then two or three on an entirely different streaming service. Like that—that that was part of the problem for me. Um, there is an episode in the series where, um, one of the characters, one of the characters brings in brownies from this woman he's dating. And, t like, take into account, the entire, like, the characters in the show are detectives. Are they supposed to be detectives? They they work for a, for the New York Police Department. Um, they do not realize until about halfway through the episode that the brownies that, that they had brought in as a tree, um are laced with hashish. So, pretty much the entire squad room, except for the captain, ends up getting high. These things have them analyzed. Fast, Nick. Not that way! <laughs> I think it got hash in them, Barn. <laughs> from the way that I feel. <laughs> I 
And it, it, what makes it funnier is, like, two of the characters, and, and this is considered, like, one of the best episodes of the series, and I understand why, because it's fucking funny. Um, two of the characters, two of the characters feel the effects almost immediately, and one of them is acting, is acting high off their ass, the other one's acting, uh, is acting more laid back but they typically are laid back and but you can tell like you it, it's a situation where it's like yeah you can tell the, the guy's high um they have an older they have an older uh character Oh, losing her thought. Uh, they have an older character who's who was all who is basically like the grumpy old man of the crew, and he's full of energy throughout the entire episode. And he get and one of the criminals he brings in, like calls him an old man, and he gets so upset about being called an old man that he just goes off on the guy. Um, and the last, uh, the last member other than the, of course, the captain who ends up staying in the, is staying in the squad room. Um, the last member who ends up getting high, like he, he shows no effects of being high. Like he just seems absolutely normal. And then you see him typing up a report. Captain looks over at the report and sees that he's like he basically just repeated the same word two or three times. And it's like I I really wanted to make my point across. <laughs> That's a fun series. And like there's just a ton of really good episodes that um and and it's like a series that even if you don't watch a full episode, just look up clips on YouTube of the series because there's a lot of clips that'll just make you fucking laugh. I think one of my favorite ones, uh, one of my favorite clips of the series is um, they have two of the guys chasing chasing a criminal chasing a criminal and they have and they end up entering the sewers so they're chasing this guy through the sewers and as as they get the information that hey they're like they're in like they had to chase a guy through the sewers the older the older grumpy old man character uh, whose name is fish uh, fish is just is starting to walk towards the bathroom in the squad room and you just hear they're like they ch they chase him in the dump they followed him and now they're chasing him through the stores and then fish just kind of turns to the other two that are having this conversation and he's just like i better wait <laughs> i could be obstructing justice <laughs> as he walks away from the bathroom Yeah, like gotta be honest, uh, I would I would genuinely recommend the first three seasons of Barney Miller just for Fish alone, because he he really has that energy of he's like Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog, just not as mean. Like he he very clearly respects the other members of the squad, but he he is also like very clearly is a grumpy old man. He's, he's just one character. Come on. Uh, also, speaking, speaking of that, um... You want to know what's what's actually interesting to me? Do you know who plays Fish in that series? Who? Abe Vigoda. Holy shit, Abe Vigoda? Yeah. Hey, Abe Vigoda? 
You don't know who that is. I was gonna say, you don't know who that is, do you? I've seen Good Burger. You take me for a normie. I'm kidding, I know who Ape Soda is. Was he actually- oh yeah, he was in Good Burger. Yeah, he was in Good Burger. <laughs> it's like, alright, hang on, I gotta look up- I gotta look up his filmography. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, no, uh, a, a Vigoda played, uh, played fish and he is just, you see a Vigoda in something like, like Godfather or, or a lot of other films. It's like, man, he's, he, he's really, he's a really good dramatic actor. And then you see him in Barry Miller and it's like, holy shit, he's also really fucking funny. Um, and, and it's interesting because he had left the show during its fourth season and ended up having his own spin-off series. Uh, it is funny because there was also, um, there was another actor on the show who was there for its first two seasons and left after season two. And the reason he left is because he was going to... Um, he was working on another show by the same uh, by the same person who did Barney Miller. Uh, that series only lasted for six episodes. And... Um, it is also considered lost media now. Yeah. Uh, that series... Oh, I'm gonna have to look it up. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, and it also, uh, it also kind of saddens me because a lot of the actors, uh, a lot of the actors who were on Barney Miller have passed away. Um. Ah, oh, what was the name of the series? Like, he went, he went from Barney Miller, which, where he played a detective, and then he, and then... The series he went to do was like a medical drama. Ah, here we go. Uh, A A E S Hudson Street, which lasted for six episodes. Um, all of the episodes are considered lost, and it really saddens me because me and my dad were gonna look, we're interested, and we're gonna look it up, and. That's when right. when I was looking it up, found out it's like, oh, uh, can't find the episodes because nobody can find the episodes. I'm talking to myself. You on the job? Oh yes, I'm quite nervous. You'll do just fine. If you don't, the data rates will simply de you. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can figure. Sounds easy enough. I love the uh, I love the delivery of that, of the. Um. <laughs> um. Oh, you want to know who else? Uh, who else was in Barney Miller? Who you might recognize? Have you ever seen the series Firefly? Uh, yes. Some of it, a long time ago. I've never sat down and watched the whole series. Okay. I know, I know. I'll hit it in my nerd card. No, no, no. I have to I... walk away. No, 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 no. Rumpy. Rumpy. No, no. Rumpy. No, no. Music. Rumpy. Rumpy. I'm playing the sad music. I got to I'm looking for the sad music to play. Hang on. No, no, no. Before you play it, I haven't seen Firefly either. No. Oh. And that's oh, another example. That's another example where I own. Where I. I think I own a copy. I don't know if I still own a copy. Because yeah, I think it was. It. I think okay, it was I one of my sisters. It. That's the wrong music. Damn it, damn it, where is my sad music? <laughs> um. Hang on. 
I remember seeing a handful of episodes of Firefly. Anyway, um, the preacher from Firefly, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, uh, Shepherd... Damn, where is it? Uh, Shepherd Book. From, uh, the character Shepherd Book, um, that actor was also in Barney Miller. But it's kind of it's kind of a like I, I know a lot of people I know probably don't haven't heard of Barney Miller. There's a lot of people who were in the series who did do um, who worked on a lot of stuff that that people I know do know. Um, you remember uh, you remember the Disney movie Atlantis? Rumpy. Rumpy. Oh, hang on. I think my mic. Hang on. Testing. Did you crash? Uh, I think I might have temporarily. Uh, anyway, have you heard of the? Do you remember the old Disney movie Atlantis? Uh, old in air quotes. I do. Uh, do you remember the old woman? I, I can't remember the character's name, but the old woman who was running the comms. Yeah, I remember her. Uh, the woman, the person who actually played that woman also played Fish's wife in Barney Miller. Which is interesting because there's just randomly an episode where they couldn't get the actress back, so they just have an entirely separate actress play his wife. And then later in the se later in the series, they have the original actress return. So it's just like randomly, randomly for a single episode, they just have a different person play his wife. It was really weird. It was a good episode too, which is kind of more upsetting. Also, yes, I keep dying trying to get these fucking emails. Steady. Steady. I'm gonna stumble on someone's affair, isn't it? <laughs> Man, I kind of wish it was possible to edit the emails in this game. It's probably worth it, lo worth looking into what it is possible to do with mods in this game. Because I certainly would do that as a joke. Like, change one of the emails to, to him learning that one of the people at Incar is having an affair. Access rings aligned. Stand by for ring configuration. Who's ready for the most tedious part of the game? Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> hang on, we, we have to get to tedium later. First I need to shoot at him. I'm, I'm curious, just kind of off topic. Have you ever... Do you know of the French series Asterix? Um, you never actually what? But you know of the series. I am aware of its existence, yes. Okay. That that actually fully answers my question. Thank you. Cause I was I, I was gonna ask if you did know of it if you if you like read any of the comics or anything. It's a fun series. I know um 
a couple of the animated movies are, are genuinely a lot of fun because some of them you, you one of them which is one of my favorite ones uh 12 task of asterix just has the looney tunes-esque comedy styles that's definitely worth watching it, it's definitely worth watching just for the fact that it's just fucking stupid with how goofy it can be Anyway, time to configure rings for this to unlock this firewall. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Enthusiasm! Oh! I just saw the two the two pictures that he sent me and it's just the, the top <laughs> fucking flying wiener dog and it's like man. Well, I mean that'd be useful. This is this is how I get rumpy as daily exercise. I don't know. I'd say the joke made more sense in my head, but <laughs> even there, it makes no Good fucking work, sense. Jet. No sweat. While I was waiting, I uncovered some interesting information about Fcon. They have plans. It's a money laundering scheme. Kind of mobile server that will allow them to shuttle their data rates and stolen information over the net. Once launched, their activities will be impossible to pinpoint. We can't let them get yep, away with this. That's correct. My feelings exactly. FCOM is a fucking is fucking Oh shit, I didn't realize we're at the end of the part. Okay, I'll continue this next part. I I guess.